the Lancet Medical Journal um, came out with a study in the fall of 2004, actually during the U.S. presidential elections, uh, and found that there had been 100,000 what they called excess deaths uh, since the invasion and occupation of Iraq, i.e. deaths that compared to the same time period in the pre before the invasion would not have taken place. So, there, so 100,000 people died because of the invasion and the occupation. That doesn't mean that they were killed in bombs, but through a ver a disease, the, the destruction of infrastructure. But that time period compared to before the invasion, there were 100,000 more deaths. This was a one-day story if it was covered at all. Um, it actually, interestingly, was, I think part of the reason it wasn't a story was because the Democrats didn't pick up on it. The Kerry campaign decided not to make it a story. So it isn't just that the media didn't cover it. Um, but the coverage, covering Iraqi civilians is an, treated as another sign of, of bias. I mean, this is the main crime that Al Jazeera and, and Al Arabiya are accused of. They're accused of spreading propaganda. The pro this propaganda consists of going to hospitals in Iraq and showing footage that has an emotional, a deeply emotional effect on viewers. The other part of not covering civilian casualties is that those images on Al Jazeera do feed the resistance. The fact that we don't see the images that, or even have any context for understanding the images is part of why we don't understand the war that's being fought. For instance, when the U.S. laid siege on, on Najaf, which is the holiest site uh, in the Shia world, it was never explained what that means, what, what it means, what that city means to, to not just Shias in Iraq, but all over the world, that this is a sacred burial ground and that U.S. Marines were, were fighting in a cemetery, their boots were desecrating grave sites. And the rage that that built and the new recruits that that created for the resistance, that was never explained. So these generic explanations of, you know, Ba'athist holdouts, foreign fighters, um, you know, the lack of coverage, the lack of context also means that we, 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 we can't understand this war. You can't understand this war unless you understand what it means to wear boots in a mosque.